Okay, we're going to find the Laplace transform of the sine integral of t, which is defined as the integral from 0 to t of sine of x over x dx. So to start, we can plug in that definition to our Laplace transform. So you have the integral from 0 to t of sine of x over x dx. And to get rid of this integral, we can use the fact that the Laplace transform of an integral from 0 to t is just f of s over s, where f of s is the Laplace transform of the inside function. So in this case, we can write the 1 over s first, and then we have the Laplace transform of our inside function, which is sine of t over t. Now from here, we can use the fact that the Laplace transform of f of t over t is the integral from s to infinity of f of u du, where f of u is the Laplace transform in terms of u. So in our case, we can keep the 1 over s, and we have the integral from s to infinity, and then the Laplace transform of sine of t is 1 over s squared plus 1. In this case, we're writing it in terms of u, so we have 1 over u squared plus 1 du. And from here, we know that this integral is just going to be equal to the tangent inverse of u evaluated at infinity and s. So that gives us the tangent inverse of infinity is going to be pi over 2, and then we have minus the tangent inverse of s. So expanding this out, we get pi over 2s minus the tangent inverse of s divided by s. So that is the Laplace transform of the sine integral of t.